Hello fellow cinephiles, Film Guru here. Today I'm reviewing The Art of Self-Defense. This was directed by Riley Stearns and stars Jesse Eisenberg, Imogen Poots and, uh, and Alessandro Vavola. It follows the story of Casey, played by Jesse Eisenberg, a young socially awkward and lonely guy whose life is turned upside down after being attacked and beaten by a group of helmet-wearing men. After the attack, he becomes fearful of leaving his home. All that changes after he joins a karate class, and the class helps him gain respect for himself and allows him to become less fearful. This quickly escalates and leads to violence and destruction, and he's ultimately shaped by the experiences that he has during this period. I really like this. I'm a fan of Riley Stearns. This is only his second film. I was a huge fan of Faults. I thought Faults was really, really well done, and Mary Elizabeth Winstead was fantastic in it, and I really like his quirky and unique sense of style is unique. I found this film refreshing and original and interesting. The best way to describe it is it feels like a cross between Karate Kid and Fight Club. So think of Karate Kid but violent. It's a black comedy, some absurd humor that's really funny. It's a really bizarre amalgamation of different things and I really enjoyed it. I think Riley Stern's a really fascinating filmmaker. I thought the three leads were fantastic. Imogen Poots is an actress I've followed for some time. I really like her performances. I like everything that she does is kind of different, unique. And this is a really unique character for her. She plays a very different character of what we usually would see her play. Her character Annie is the only female student in the dojo and she's always and she's always passed over for the black belt she's always d talked down to and treated badly and she really has to fight for what she wants and has to fight to be the person she wants to to be and, and t t has to fight to achieve her goals. I think Alessandro Vavolva is really great as well he plays sensei the character he's funny unique but he's very brutal and violent and he seems absurd and strange i think alessandro is a really unique actor and, and is different and he he works really well in, in the riley stern's worlds and I, I think he really crafted a really unique character here who's arrogant and self-absorbed and thinks he's some sort of god and the way he plays it is fantastic and you really ultimately hate, love to hate the character. You like him a little bit, but there's something not quite right about him and you just feel anger towards him. And you just feel like he's such a terrible sort of person, but you can't help like him in some small way. I think Jesse Eisenberg is perfectly cast in this to play the lead character of Casey. He has a quirkiness, a strangeness to him, and he can see that in the characters he plays and the choices he makes within these, these particular movies and for the characters. And you really feel a connection to him. Even though he's a little awkward and strange, you feel for him because he's lonely. He has no one in his life except his small dog. And he just struggles to be a person he wants to be. He's very timid and scared. He's awkward. He doesn't know how to interact in, with other people. And after he's attacked, it sort of shapes and crushes the world that he sort of built around him. But it helps him grow and evolve. And he becomes such an interesting character. And he really is the eyes into this world. And everything, we, everything he sees, we see and experience through him. And he becomes such a great, strong character by the end of the film. There's really a lot to like here. If you haven't seen Faults, I highly recommend it. If you like something that's a bit different and odd, this is definitely a film for you. I don't think this film's gonna be for everyone, but people who like something different will get a lot out of this. Riley is able to make and craft really interesting world. Like I said, it's a cross between Karate Kid and Fight Club, but it's, it's not stealing from them. It's slightly paying tribute to them, but this thing's ultimately its own thing. He's crafted his own thing from being inspired by those two classic films. The scenes that really stand out for me are when he first joins the karate and what that's about and, and slowly growing to be more stronger in himself and less fearful. I think the ending's fantastic and well done. There's scenes throughout it that are very shocking and violent. You can see what's gonna happen, but you're still shocked and surprised by what does unfold. I think the scenes between Imogen Poots and Jesse Eisenberg is really great. They have good chemistry and there's something really cool and interesting about both of them. And, and they work really well together. Alessandro is unique and works within this world quite well. Final thoughts. In the end, it's really about this young guy coming to terms with what's happening to him and be slowly becoming the person he's always wanted to be. And to not be fearful of things that happen or, or scared or 
you know, put yourself in a little box, but to expose yourself to things and to, to grow and evolve and learn. That's the most important part. And I think he does such a fantastic job with that. I'm gonna give The Art of Self-Defense four out of five. I thoroughly enjoyed this. I think it's different and I want more films like this. I look forward to watching more of his films. And like I said, definitely check out Faults if you can. Anyway, that's all from me today. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit subscribe down the bottom, follow me on Facebook. Otherwise, until next time, enjoy the movies.